cuss in the beginning. YouTube doesn't like cussing. Censor to the to the moon. All right, so YouTube frogs, bear with me. I prepared this. It is very long, but it is very detailed and informational. Okay. I don't want to hear no complaining. This took me like freaking six hours. Whoa. All right, how do I do this full screen? All right, here we go. What? Where is it? All right, there it is. All right, Bro Shaza Hard Mode Ancient Gear and Onwards made by me. People are like, who made this? Yeah, your boy. All right, so I'm back here to educate and entertain. Last time, you know, I made the uh, normal Bro Sheezy. How to get that 20 sweet eye levels gear transfer. Remember that? Yeah, that got a lot of views. You guys, you know, answered a lot of questions. I hope it helped. And this will help you once again. Today's focus, in no particular order, what Braille hard mode brings to character gear progression. All right? People are not talking about this over at whatever SNS. You guys are going to get strong. Big power spike. We're going to talk about that. I'm going to dissect that. What to do with the new gear. All right? What do I do with it? Do I need it? Can I skip it? Maths and advice, all right, that I have for you guys, all right? I want you guys to hear the whole thing, man. Trust me, dude. Trust me. As a guy who gears up characters and fine-tunes them, min-maxes them more than anybody else, who spent more on bracelets and all of that stuff, you know, I may I may just look like a freaking swiper. Maybe that, that is what I, what I am to you, but I, I do my math. I do my research, okay? All right, so intro, this is one take. Uh, editors, I don't even know where he is, okay? I'm not gonna edit because I'm lazy. Not because I have a huge ego, I'm just lazy, okay? I don't wanna edit, and it's gonna be a one take. If I make mistakes, if I drag it on, I apologize, it is what it is. Follow my Twitch, I have a second channel called Bald's Ambitions. Bald's Ambitions, you can follow that as well. There'll be new Twitch drops and stuff like that uh, for Bro Hard release. So today we're gonna talk about everything that comes into your game in NAUSA with the April 12th Brel Shaza update. It's not just Brel Shaza raid. I can't go into super spoilers uh, like the PTR stuff, but I will pretty much tell you what is already announced, okay? So Brel Shaza hard mode adds two new chaos dungeons. Dark Orange. All right, so Alt Q, we have the Chaos Dungeons. So Korea is in the Voldyke tier. There's Algacia tier. And then there is, you guys are doing these. But now we're gonna get these, the Dark Orange. And as you can see, you will start getting these. Hope called you're doing well. Ancient Accessories, guys. Drop those primes, thank you so much. I appreciate it, follow the stream. And uh, the Ancient Accessories, we'll be talking about that. They are powerful. As you can see, it's not a soft reset. You'll get the same. Mats, we'll talk about how many. All right. So, two new Chaos Dungeons. I'll talk about them in detail. One new Guardian called Harumatan. My favorite Guardian. He is fun if you do him right. Okay. Harumatan is right here. He does not have a weakness. He does not have a weakness. All right. I could talk about why, but you, you could ask on Twitch. That's another topic. So he has no weakness. Drops. I'll show you guys that later on. Boss Rush Hell is going to be added in. The ticket. Hell, it's a ticket that drops from Chaos Dungeons. Guild vendors should have them. You guys know the sources. Tier 3 Tower. Alright. I think we may get these. It is supposed to come with Brel Shaza Hard Mode. Tier 3 Tower. I don't know the materials, the rewards. Don't ask me. It may be different from Korea. And when you clear for the second time your ults, uh, the rewards, I don't know if it's going to be the same as Korea. I don't know if it's going to be all 50 floors or it's going to be, um, what is it, dissected, separated like it was in Korea as well. I think first 25 floors launched initially and then the rest got added in up to 50. Now there's a total of, total of 12 new skill points that are going to be added in with the tier 3 tower. If we're not going to get all 50 floors, which I don't think we should because we don't have enough power. But if the first 25 
if they're added in, there should be one skill point of three points. Sorry, four points. Okay? There should be other rewards as well, honing mats, stuff like that. But that is still a little bit of um, power spike, okay? So it's going to start from 1490, 1490, not 19, 1490, and 450-ish, 4950, 1580 contents. All right, let's talk about those Chaos Dungeons. Fully rested. Please pay attention. Come, come along with me, man. Fully rested. Two runs. You guys are doing these. We'll be doing these. These are. This is the 1540 and the 1560. Red is the Destruction Stones. These are the Armor Guardians. As you can see, <coughs> they're going up. That's all you need to know. They're going up. This is fully rested on average. Okay? Leaf Stones going up. Gems. Yeah. About the same. Unless you were doing these. The 1490s. All right, in the 1490, and uh, I believe this is the 1520, you, were, you guys were getting some legendaries. All right, well, you're not going to get those. You're going to get still relics, ability stones, and now the ancient accessories. All right, ancient accessories. Now, you're not going to get, uh, you're not going to get that many, uh, what is it, bracelets. Now, you can see the silver is here. Silver. Silver, you're getting more silver. However, not that much. However, we're going to get more shards, boys. Almost double. Double from here, the 1490s to the 1560s. Okay? Shards are going to ramp up, dude. All right. Next. Now, this is not... Um, this is about, like, converting the mats into gold. So you don't have to pay attention to this because it's a different market value. However, did you guys know about the, the cube ticket rates? As well as um, the boss rush. And here, bonus the gold room. Sorry, boss room is 4.55 and the gold room percentage is 2.29. <clears throat> now the cube and the boss rush tickets, for those that are not new characters, there is a hidden internal cooldown in the game when you make a new class in the first week you only get one cube one boss rush however second week and onwards there is a hidden proc rates in the game that you guys don't know about so you guys do start getting two per week so these odds don't really matter just wanted to provide that that's i guess just filler information chaos dungeon frequently ask questions do they stop dropping relic no they will still drop relics but now you get ancients. Do you get more tripods? Yes, you do. You do get more tripods. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, you do get more. Okay. And should you get rested? Um, that's up to you. If you already like being rested, then sure. I like to do them every day. Because, number four, value per minute... We consider Chaos Dungeons in Korea zero tier or S tier in the West for growth in terms of mats per minute or gold per minute, right? Gold worth per minute, right? In terms of mats that we gain, Chaos Dungeon has the highest efficiency, okay? So I, I don't recommend rested, but for your sanity's sake, yes. In terms of value for item's sake, you should do Chaos Dungeons. Now the new Guardian, Hanumatan, fully rested. It's 28 leap stones. I've been testing this for weeks, months. All right. So without rest, it will be 14, seven per run, 14 a day. And you guys can see the guardians. It's a uh, 588 and then 198 destruction. That's also, you know, disassembling automatically stuff. I don't need. All right. Like the relic stuff. And we got uh, four ancient accessories. And a uh, ability stone. All right. Or maybe nothing got disassembled. I don't know. But the m most important part is those are the mats you're going to get on average. Full rested. Now, boss rush hell. What is the difference between boss rush hell and boss rush hard? Well, you get more leaf stones. Good news. Leaf stones increase from 15 and hard 
This is Boss Rush and Cube Hard combined. This is Boss Rush Hell with Cube Hard combined. There is no Cube Hell. There is Cube Hard. So the Leaf Sword increases as well as the gems increase. I've been confirming this in multiple sources. All right. So you get more Leaf Stones and more gems. Good news. Next, why do Braille hard? Can't I just skip? You guys ask about like skipping this or that. You know, you said park at plus 19 or plus 20 Braille normal. All right, can I, can I, do I have to just like, can I just stay there in Braille no more gear? Well, Braille hard drops these right here. These guys, the right hand token, the ancient color. Now what are these? You need these to craft Braille ancient gear. All right, it drops the same amount, same amount as Braille normal. So gate one through six with bonus loot is 44. If you win all the three all the uh, boxes, you win 15. So that's 44 plus 15. And then the first clear box has 30 inside, just like normal, guys. Just different currency. All right. Now, the first clear box, I tested this right here. It comes from any Braille hard mode, uh, hard mode boss you kill first. So I tested this on Slayer. I did normal day one of Slayer's release. I did normal gate one and two. And then I don't remember actually. Was it one through four? Anyways, I did hard, I think five and six. But in five, I was not expecting the box because Inven was saying the box doesn't drop. Only It said only drops the first time clear box only drops from gate one. However, I proved that to be wrong when I did my Slayer. Unless NAUSA is different, all right? But I am 100% sure that it dropped from gate five and I was pleasantly surprised by the 30 extra of these, all right? So 89 in total week one. Do you wanna go for weapon or armor? I will answer soon. All right, next. End game progression. Akan Asian is currently in KR market value, the most efficient gear to home. Okay, it is the cheapest for your power gained. All right, goal to power ratio, a con gear is it. When it comes to honing, not in, not in terms of everything. I'll show this later. However, you can't skip, as you can't skip from legendary gear to braille relic, as you can't skip Patterns. from set level one to set level three, you need to go through this. You can't skip from braille relic to a con ancient. So the solution is to raid Braille hard mode. What if you don't like Braille hard mode? There are plenty of my viewers in Korea who did not do Braille gate five and six. Too intimidated. They were scared of freaking up, messing up. They didn't have the time, you know, hundred other reasons. So what, what are the common strats that Korean users did to skip the jail or cause they were too scared. They did gate one into hard mode and did the rest in normal, or they would do gate one through four in hard mode and gate five and six in normal, or just do gate one through four and not do the rest, or one and two and not do the rest. Whatever you wanna do. You guys do it however you guys wanna do it. All right? Now, outside of doing gate one through four hard mode and gate five and six normal, you'll still generate the new materials and slowly over time, you'll have full ancient gear before Akan's release, right? The same approach you've taken, the same approach you guys took to getting the normal Braille gear, you can take that if you wanna go casually. You don't have to go one through six and bleed your balls out every week, six characters, okay? Uh, mechanically speaking, the raids are not too different and doesn't take that much time compared to uh, full one through six. So what I'm saying here is that from gate, Gate 1 through 4 hard mode is pretty comparable to 1 through 4 normal. Yeah, there are a couple of changes here and there, but hard mode and normal mode, they have been nerfed to the ground. Not as much as Akan though. Akan, mostly bug fixes, not nerfs to the raid. So you guys will have a better experience with Akan. Hopefully, unless things change from now until Akan's release, if for some reason, we get a con nerfs in Korea, then that will come to the West 
Hopefully not. Fingers crossed. Because Akan is enjoyable and it's finely tuned, I think. But in terms of Braille 1 through 4, hard mode or normal mode, they are pretty, pretty easy. All right. So downside of doing gate one through four hard mode and gate five and six normal, what's the downside? What am I losing? No cosmetic rewards. What are these rewards? Brel Shaza Horn plus her pet. Okay. So there are new horns. They're bigger. They're actually like Brel Sheezy herself. Okay. And no, you cannot die them. They are character bound. They are not roster bound. It's on the character you cleared it with, all right? And the pet is an achievement that you get after five kills for the normal color. Right here. That's the normal color. And then there is the red color version after 10 kills. 10 kills on that character's eels? No, 10 characters roster wide. So if you're a six character Andy and you killed Brelshaza six times in hard mode in gate six, Hard mode, Brawl Shaza, gate six, six times. Second week, you'll have the pets. Okay, and then you can flex it all you want. The Brawl Horn um, comes with killing Brawl Shaza, gate six, hard mode. Brawl Pet, the OG color, five. Five kills in hard mode, gate six. And the red one, it is ten kills in gate six. Alright, do note these all can be obtained week one. If you kill Bro Hard Gate 6 on 10 characters. Alright. Sh why should I do Bro Hard? As I said previously, you need to get the gear in order to transfer that gear to a con gear later. You can't skip steps. Alright? There's an incentive even if you don't hone. Even if you don't hone your Braille ancient gear, and I advise you not to. There's still an incentive. You still get a power spike. Braille hard mode content patch adds vertical progression to all your characters that participate in the Braille hard mode content. A maxed NAEU SA 1590 character is miles away from doing the damage of a 1650 max Korean characters due to being four major systems behind in order one ancient gear plus ancient accessories. That includes bra uh, bracelets, right? Number two, you don't have set level three. So that's something to look forward to. This is not something I like, you know, oh, baby, calm down. I'm telling you guys, this is something to be excited about in an MMO, in an ARPG. You have something to strive, work, work towards, right? Number three is a con gear and the deal, the damage inflation that comes from weapon attack inflation on weapons, which we'll t talk about soon, as well as number four, elixirs. People have been uh, talking a lot about relic engravings. When are we getting relic engravings? Which already Smilegate said, no, we're not going to do that. However, instead of doing these boring engravings, sick of this old uh, engraving system, there is such a thing called engraving system. It's called elixirs. Just think of it as your sixth and eighth, sorry, seventh and eighth engravings. All right, let me show you. When you see, uh, let's see, uh, if you guys go over here to the API, my award answer is getting a 20% DPS damage upgrade. That's almost like one and a half engravings. Now I'm logged off in a Chaos Dungeon setup, but my, uh, my Slayer is getting about 20% damage increase. That is huge. All right, just from Elixirs, just from Elixirs. My uh, Scrapper hasn't completed her 40 piece Elixir but at 35 sets, she's already getting a 16.5% damage increase. It's massive. Massive, alright? So, what the frick? What the frick, dude? So, you guys are that behind right now. You're approaching number one. Next. First upgrades. Ancient gear. We're gonna get ancient gear, guys. Whether you buy butses or you, you know, do gate one and two only or gate one and only, whatever. Eventually, you'll get ancient. So, take a look at the screenshot, guys. Do you see this main stat of uh, 29,030? All right. That is, is 1590 plus 20 bro normal. Now, at ancient, just by gear transferring, 
you gain more stats. Would you look at that? Your defense stays the same. HP. However, your main stat changes. So how much did it change in the shoulder slot? 1,866 main stats. 1,800. All right. Let's, let's look at the gloves. All right. 33,177 goes to 34,000. A total gain of 1,659. What about the panties? Panties, 22,800, goes to 25,000. Wow, panties give more. 2,280. Follow along with me, man. Chest, 20,700. Ancient, 23,000. The biggest increase of 24,088. 2,488. Did I say 24,000? Sorry, 2,400. Helmet. All right, this is just evidence of what I'm about, about, what I'm about to say, okay? So, weapon. Weapon also without honing, just gear transferring, goes up 500 weapon attack. What does all this mean? In what order should I get, uh, what I, what short, which order should I gear transfer? All right, let's say you generated 89 of the new Brelshaza hard mold bones or horns, whatever you want to call them. Which gear should I go to the vendor and exchange first to get the biggest bang for my buck? Well, it's in. An order that NAEUSA can follow really easily. One, chest. Two, panties. Three, helmet. Now, weapon will be a little bit uh, depending on your character. It will be four, but then weapon costs 100. Shoulder costs 40. So shoulder, gloves, and then weapon last. So if you plan on not honing or you plan on taking it slowly, if let's say you might hone a little bit, but you want to take it slow, this is the order you follow when you when it comes to gear transfer. Maybe you did gear one, I mean gate one and two, or gate one, two, three, four, and you guys have like a five minute break to take a shit. Then you wanna, you know, end the raid, go craft some pieces in this order. In this order. It's not gloves first. Okay. I'm gonna tell who watched my guide and who didn't now. Now, what does the max weapon look like, Seals? Plus 25, your weapon attack goes to 59,390, which is 17, well, let's just round it up to an 18% increase from plus 20. It is an 18% increase. Is that a lot? For the millions of gold that you're about to spend, is up to you. We did calculate this right before I start this presentation. Just from 24 to 25 is 2.2 million gold worth of mats. 2.1 million shards. It is uh, 400, uh, 4,320,000 silver to start, plus 25 bro ancient. Just the 25. And the shard is 720k deposit to start. Okay? Deposit to start. Okay, next. What about 1615 to 1650 zeals? That is a con. How much am I gaining? It is a 26% increase in more weapon attack. It's not damage increase. Weapon attack. Weapon attack. Keyword. Okay, so 26%. All right. Now, if you decide to stay at plus 20 bro Asian, what should you expect? Uh, as you can see, take a picture of this on your phone. Plus 20, 15, 90 gear will go into 13. Plus 13 a con. So if you have a plus 20 weapon, you will lose that glow. Everybody will kind of lose, kind of lose that glow. All right. Now you don't get free item level. Uh, uh, some of them you do. Now if you're seeing this, you're like, wow, plus 25, I get 10 item levels. Wow, that is a great deal, Zeals. That's not a great deal. Okay, at least in Korea, it was not a great deal in week one and still not a great deal today. Okay, it's better to go from here to here and then hone it up. If you don't believe me, wait for my video on this. I just did this two days ago on stream because the honing rate increases in the materials. Even if even in week one, even in week one with the inflated prices, it was better to just hone it. But the big but is we have to see the market value we have to see the market value it is different per region okay all right next 
if you decide to stay at plus 20 bro ancients all right so if you stay at plus 20 uh bro ancient watch this down payment cost of honing ancient to 20 to this is a series by the way don't get confused by the title all right thank you for the support guys thank you keep it coming man keep interrupting down Smart. payment cost of honing ancient 20 to 21 is 330,000 shards and 2 million silver. Let, let this sink in. And you start at 1.5% chance to hone without solars, increasing to 3%. With solars, 4.5%. Plus 21 to 22 is not 4.5. It goes down to 3%. Okay? Look at the weapon attack per level increase plus five eye levels from here now guys no more plus 10 eye levels i know this is small i'm sorry it is 1680 1700 at plus 22 1800 at 23 keep that in mind as we go to the next page this is a con weapon a con weapon okay if you decide to stay all right so look at the weapon attack per level increase a con weapon yeah as you get higher it goes up okay it goes up Right, it's about the same. It's just like how much does it cost? Right, how much does it cost? Alright, so let's look here. If you're confused, this should explain it. Down payment of uh, down payment cost of holding ancient 20 to 21. Okay, this is Bro Shaza gear. If you decide to uh hone your Bro Shaza ancient gear, this is what you have to expect. Right? This is the weapon from 20 to 21. It is expected average cost of 166,000 gold if you pity 391,000 gold in Korea. Now, what if I wait for the Khan gear? What if I go, I just keep my weapon 5090 seals and I wait for the Khan patch and then I gear transfer to a Khan weapon? Then how much is it? Well, the starting home cost isn't going to be 330,000 shards. It is going to be 50,000 shards, right? 13 to 14. Why 13? Right here. Instead of going from 20 to 21 with 330,000 shards, why don't I just wait for a con gear, a con weapon in this case, and go from 13 to 14 with 50k deposit and way higher honing odds? 5% chance to start versus 1.5 chance to start. And look at that. Average cost is half. Even though the material cost is double, even though the material cost is not uh, more than double, it is still half. Now, this once again is KR value as of April 7th. We have to calculate this, all right? If you want to be super safe, it's probably just best to wait, all right? Or take it slowly. Feel the market first. So if you decide to stay at a... We're going to continue on with the series. Also need to mention my Gunsinger experiment currently ongoing. One ear without honing. And parked at 1590 doing low pong dailies. Didn't do a single leapstone dailies. I should have. I should have done leapstone dailies. Wasn't even diligent on Chaos Dungeon and dailies. I almost abandoned my Gunsinger. I was actually thinking about benching her, deleting her. Very close, multiple times. I had 10 million shards, which is the cap, which was enough to get me to 1620. Actually, it's going to blow me past 1620. It's going to blow me past. So from 1590 to 1620, 10 million shards were enough. Especially if you don't push the weapon too hard like I do. 1620 is enough currently for all content in Korea. I was doing endgame content then doing endgame content now tldr by not too over honing all right had i gone plus 25 everything in bro ancient had i i probably wouldn't have the shards okay but i would still be around 1620 all right probably wouldn't uh would have more gold today though if i went slower shard wise i think it will be the same but gold-wise, I think I would save more if I pushed now than back then. Alright. Alright, so once again, disclaimers. We won't know what will be cheaper in each region. Different markets, different paths of efficiency, different FOMO, all of that. But in Korea, 
plus 20 to 1600 ancient brawl weapon was worth at a point and after after 22 was inefficient because 22 is still three percent chance to home all right with solars three percent two percent without it remember if you already started honing your progress will be lost Remember that. All the silver, all the shards, all the progress, the art is a meter will be lost. If you go from bro normal to bro ancient, bro ancient to a con. Okay, so let's talk about then why did people push their weapon? Why did people, especially me, knowing all this, except for my ults, my ults are all parked at plus 20 bro ancient. I will not, in Korea, ever push bro ancient weapon above 20. Unless I'm trying to go for number one, day one of a new class to enter a new raid. In that little tight hole emergency situation, just to, just to enter the new content on a new character on day one, yes. But any of my ults will never go past plus 20 bro and go straight to a con. But why are people doing it back then? Why do people do it? Simple. Glow. 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 And glow. Glow is, uh, by the way, glow, yeah, 725 glow is, this, this is the deposit. 720k shards and 4.3 million silver to start. Is glow worth it? it? Is all up to you guys. Is the power gain worth it? I don't think so. That is up to you though. Glow, you will lose these by the way with a console reset. You will lose them. Your disc glow will turn into these. The blue boys. Alright. Now, next character gear progression. We've talked about the ancient gear. Right? Now we got to talk about other ancient pieces. Accessories. Accessories 101. Bet you've never seen this before. Ring relic to ancients. Main stats you increase. It's all on your screen. Take a screenshot. Print it out. Attack difference. Attack difference. What is attack? Not deep. I didn't say DPS. Attack is this. This is your attack. Your finalized stat. So your rings, 0.5. Earrings, 0.55. Necklace, 0.71. Total character attack difference is 2.54. Okay? Why? Because you have two rings. The only thing that changed is the main stats and the HP. Alright? Now let's talk about what else changed. Quality, quality, quality. Sacrificing quality in order to gain these stats, is it worth it? Up to you. You do gain 2.95, but because you lose quality, you might lose 5%. That depends on your class and your spec. So, for example, a very good uh, specialization scaling class, one of the best in the game, is Transformation Demonic. Shadow Hunters. Uh, Slayer? Yeah, Slayer has crazy efficiency. Surge Blade, crazy efficiency. Okay, so like, this is case by case. This is another one hour video, okay guys? So, quality, quality, quality. Just because you're getting 2.95 doesn't mean you go immediately, immediately into ancient accessories territory. However, you do gain one engraving. So, you gotta count this plus the engraving. Right? So ancient accessory will give you a max of a six, plus six and a plus three. Minimum of four and a three. What the frick does that mean? So as you can see, this one has plus six, hitmaster and grudge three. All right, minus stats stay the same, one through three. One through three, all right? So new max potential for nine seven, good nine seven, not some garbage nine seven. Garbage 97, we'll talk about that later, okay? Maybe 
uh, on Twitch. We could talk about it. But you will go one more now. Or, yeah, 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 one more, one more, okay? Or without 9-7, this is, or 10-6, this is the new potential. You get one more. So there's a difference. That difference, depending on the class, could be anywhere from 3 to 6%. 3 to 5%, about 5% uh, DPS increase. All right? So we're getting attack increase, 2.9, and DPS increase. Once again, that depends very much on the class and spec. So Ancient Accessories, now you can get one of these. One, 5x3 for cheaper when Ancient Accessory prices go down. Number two, 5x3 plus one. Anywhere from 3 to 5% uh, damage increase if quality isn't sacrificed. All right, I'm, I'm just talking about the engraving, okay? Not including the, right here, this thing. All right, and 5 XP plus two for nine, seven plus 10, plus, uh, 10, six plus rock owners. All right. Ancient accessories, should you rush ancient accessories? No, 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 no. Okay. Green qualities were 300,000 gold per accessory in Korea the week of its launch in September 2021. 300k gold per, 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 for green quality. I've seen people rocking full greens, okay? Week one, looking like fools. Currently full 6-3, 99 average. What the frick does that mean? 99 average means the quality average right here. My quality average on my scrapper is 99. All right. So, where the frick is a uh... yo, bro? Where am I? So the currently the uh, 63 99 average is about one to two million gold, depending on the class and of course uh, specialization. Is it crit? Is it swiftness? Uh, yeah, trust me, I would know, because we've done a lot of these, uh, on stream. Gunsinger was... Gunsinger, to get this, um... Uh, was it 600k? 700k? With an average about 90... 99, 98? 600k? And that's because she's spec crit. Slayer was 1.4 mil. Shock Scrapper was 2 million, but that was gold, gold inflation. Uh, War War Dancer was 1.4 million. Yeah, uh, yeah. Even today, man, it, it, TLDR even today is expensive. All right. All right. So what what am I trying to say here? It's expensive. All right. So let's add up from Braille Normal to Ancient Gear transfer without honing plus Relic to Ancient Accessories at the same quality equals about 8.7 percent to 10.4 percent increase in power. Closing the gap a little bit between NA, EU, SA, and Korea. This is without honing. If you hone to full 16, 15 maximum eye level, we're talking... We already, I already told you the increase in weapon attack. All right? This is not honing, boys. Plus, there's more. Oh, my favorite one. <laughs> Ancient Bracelet, the most powerful upgrade in Lost Ark, NA, EU, SA, until Elixirs. Ah, easiest to upgrade initially. Everyone will feel the power spike, okay? Just just move along with me here. Just go to the vendor and hit convert. I'll show you. More powerful than Esther weapon depending on your luck. High risk, high reward. Most expensive if you want to get the high, the big boy 17% plus bracelets. I mean, this, this doesn't even happen. 17 to 18% is also class-based. Let me see if that guy is online. If any of these uh, CEOs are... They're offline. Okay, anyways, they're offline. All right. So, you don't know anything about bracelets? Go watch my 101 video. So, let me show you my trash. Not Glavier's trash. My Glavier's trash. She has no gems. She picked up a bracelet from a Chaos Dungeon, which I upgraded. And it turned out to be spec 82, swiftness 60. Not bad for what I'm trying to do with my Glavier. And I got a a, a a tier 2 version of Fervor, which increases all damage by 
I got a mid-roll for Relic. Three slots. Now, if I transfer it to Ancient at the vendor, you need 100 of these, guys, which you just get for free. Do some Chaos Dungeon Guardians, do the PvP Island, you know where to get these. The Challenge Guardians, you know the sources, you're not freaking newbies, alright? You get a lot of these, I have I have like 50,000 of these, okay, on my roster. You disenchant them, you get these, 100 of them, alright? Please, don't buy this on the auction house and then disassemble it to just get the shards to convert yours. Unless you're filthy rich, then give me 100 gifted subs before you do that. So what you want to do is you go to the vendor and then you collect these over time and then you just convert it. You hit one button. And by doing so, everybody will gain 20 of their combat stats. So my spec goes up plus 20. 82 plus, 82 plus 20 is 102. In case you don't know how to do that, the, the game will tell you right here. Plus 20. And also it will tell you the new damage increase of your effect. So my UR goes from 2% increased damage to 2.5. All right. So just by going to the vendor, I just gain crazy load of power. How much power? Let's look. Ancient Bracelet. Swiftness. 1800 to 1820 is a 0.69 DPS increase. Now, if you have Swiftness on your necklace, it is a 0.5% DPS increase. Swiftness is easy to calculate. Crit is a little bit easier. Entropy plus King Weapon. Entropy with no King Blunt Weapon is different value. Crit class like Nightmare class with King Blunt Weapon is different value. Alright. All you got to know is that TLDR, you're getting an upgrade. Alright. Specialization. Once again, depends on the class. Striker, one of the low end. The specialization coefficient of a striker is lower compared to others on the higher end. All right, like a uh, shock scrapper, Slayer is even above that. Surge Blade is high. Transformation, uh, Shadow Hunter. So depending on that class, you're getting the 20 combat stats that you gain. Is efficiency you gain for free? That's the TLDR. All of this is a separate video. Yes. All right. So let's add this up. I already talked about this. 10.4 with the bracelets. You're going to get anywhere from 1.2% damage increase to 8% increase. How the frick is 8% coming, Zeals? Well, if I already took a look at your bracelets in chat, some of you guys already have double factor. Two, two double factor. For example, you have your combat stats down, right? You have your combat stats pretty high, like 90 crit, 90 spec, and some of y'all show me your circulate and uh, fervor or crit or hammer right so if you have those two you're gonna get more bonuses so you're gonna be cracked plus i don't know if you guys notice here you get one more slot and with that one more slot it'll give you a it'll give you three extra rolls so you have three more rolls so if you upgrade that double factor you're already like at a 12 percent bracelet depending on the class 11 12 13 percent dps increase bracelet now Let's say you roll on that extra fifth, a trifecta like my Slayer. You roll the trifecta. Okay? Then you're fucking cracked, dude. Oh my god, I'm not supposed to swear. I just got excited, sorry. Alright, YouTube guys, uh, bots, please don't demonetize me, man. Alright, so if you get a trifecta, then you go to the moon. That's why, let's say, for example, the last slot, you get circulate max roll. That is like 4.8% damage increase alone. That's why you can go up to 18% even higher without honing yet, guys. We haven't honed. So we're talking about 18% near ceiling. So let's add up. This was all without even honing to even the new uh, the new max island was 1615. Alright. So, what about 234? Western version, even after ancient braille gear, accessories, bracelets... You're still missing 60% increase in damage. There's a huge power gap. Even though your item level gap between us are closing in, power gap is still there. That is not to say, once again, that you guys are little babies. I'm just saying there are things to look forward to. There are two rolls of engravings worth of damage potentially coming from the elixirs. Okay? 
Now, remember, it's not just your elixir. There's a thing called support elixir. Support elixir increases your damage as well. So you have to factor that in, which most people are not factoring in, as well as set level three of your character, plus the support yearning level three that provides and the build potential that provides with support set level three, making sure your raid captain is filled. So those all added in is about 60%, as well as the inflated weapon attack coming from a con gear. All right. All right, so um, I only, I'm just, once again, this video is only covering the newly unlockable power chase. That is grindable starting for you guys in April 12th, 2023. The red are not in the game yet. They will be in later videos. Much progression to look forward to, guys. All right. However, for those that are being cheapos and are staggering, not making any progress, you don't have your tripods done yet. You don't have, yeah, level four gems. You got freaking no cards. I'm, I'm talking the card is empty. I'm not talking Light of Salvation 18. I'm talking like you got no cards, man. Bro, you got set level one still. This is once again an end game player video, by the way. This ain't for newbies. This is not something a newbie would understand. So I'm talking an eye to eye to an end game player. You sleeping on tripods and stuff like that? The gap is getting bigger and bigger between those that are actually caring for their class and then maxing. And it will show. It will show because you will start appearing as nothing on the MVP screen. As in not even fighter. All right, let's talk about gold. Frequently asked questions. How much gold do I get from Braille Shards of Hard Mode? You're going to get Gate 1 and 2, 5,500. Do you guys understand why people just do Gate 1 and 2 and dip? All right. Number 2, uh, Gate 3, 4, 2,000. Gate 5, 6, 3,000. Is this worth it? That's up to you. Is this worth it? It's up to you guys. All right, you guys, you're adults. You could judge on your own. Now, what is there to look forward to? Hard Akan gives 7,500. And the latest four man endgame content, the tower, Sage Tower, whatever it is called, 11,000 gold. Okay. And the four man, uh, this is a separate video, but the builds that work in here don't really work. Some of them don't work in the four man because you have to carry your own weight when it comes to stagger destruction. All right, so fact, do I lose glow from Braille Normal to Braille Ancient? No. Do I lose plus something on gear? No. Only thing that increases with Braille Ancient gear is the max eye level increases from plus 20 to 25. Does Braille Hard Mode have a new vendor for free rewards? No. Does Braille Hard Mode have new materials? No. Honing materials, no. Ancient accessories, yes. And you will, if you complete gate 1 through 6 and bonus with everything, you will get an entire bag full of mats. About up to here. About 70 to 80 slots worth of materials. And that will help pump the market. And I need you guys, if you want to see a better NAEUSA, you need to not uh complain with toxicity but you need to we need to ask the amazonis to remove the 20 character limit the roster 20 limit of posting things the auction house we have to supply the auction house with the relic accessories and ancient accessories in order to drive them down in price relic accessories will not go down if we cannot flood the market you it's your duty now to do that okay I can get full relic on this character within 10 to 15k for 90 quality and above. That is because it is flooded. As a matter of fact, I don't even look at relic accessories anymore. They immediately get trashed. Except for necklace. Next. Can I switch from Braille normal to hard mode and vice versa? Yeah, you can. Gate 1 normal, gate 2 hard. Yeah, you can do that. Uh, next. Can I have access to this slide? No, just watch the video. I don't even know how to share, actually. I'm a boomer. And that's it, guys. That is it. That is 65 slides. I don't know how to leave. 
that is 65 slides 65 slides and i've been talking non-stop for 70 uh, 49 minutes i hope that answered most of your questions and i hope this gets you excited it is not just oh gold gear it is actually a lot of power and i think uh nau sa understanding where the power comes from is a very important step up that not a lot of people are talking about this on sns whether it's twitch youtube or whatever you guys get your information it is not just oh it's just different color no you do get a lot of power power you need to understand where the power comes from and also need to understand the best way of getting that power for cheap so that you can do the hard content with those side grades and then eventually save up for the big grades all right man if you have any other co uh, questions ask me on uh, twitch okay that's it sorry too long peace